Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to configure a brand new micro SD card on a Windows phone. This is the Nokia Lumia 730 and yes, this phone does support a 64GB uh, micro SD card. Uh, I'm going to be using a Transcend Premium 300X 64GB uh, micro SD card. Let me show you here. This is a very nice SD card. Um, no issues with it. I was using one before. So let's go ahead and pop the back cover open and I'm going to install it. Then I'm going to show you how to configure apps to SD and so that every content, uh, every application you download automatically goes to the micro SD card because this phone does not have much internal memory. Also, I'm going to show you how to configure um, so that everything you download such as songs or uh, pictures they also go automatically to the micro SD card so I'm going to insert it here I'll pop the battery back in snap the back cover in place and then turn the phone on Now when you insert a brand new SD card like I just did, you're going to see this message that the phone has detected a brand new SD card and if you automatically want to configure uh, your photos and music so that they go directly onto the card, uh, if you see this message, just, just tap yes. Uh, you can see it's already configured here, but if you don't see it, uh, go to your um, app drawer and go to something called stored since and then uh, check these options make sure all of these are set to SD card and if you want to move your existing applications to the SD card tap on to phone uh, go to app, apps plus games now generally Windows Phone does allow many majority of the applications to be moved to the SD card but some there are some exceptions like whatsapp can't be moved to the sd card but you can select the download folder of whatsapp uh, to the sd card so that's good but you can't move the application itself uh, because the publisher uh, does not allow it but if you do receive any new pictures on whatsapp they're automatically going to go to the sd card so that's not a worry pictures and videos so let me select all of them and let's see how many of these applications can be moved. You can see some of them are already grayed out. And then just tap on move. Then tap yes. Now it's going to give you this message because some of the application will not be moved to the SD card. So you can already see the some of the applications it's already showing it's moving. And it does take a while even though it's a class 10 SD card it will take around 15 to 20 minutes. So you'll need to have patience and if your battery is on uh, battery is low you need to plug your phone in. So let's me let me check if any applications have been moved. You can see already some of the applications are appearing on the SD card. And these are big apps. This one is 247 megabytes. This is 193 megabytes, almost 200 megabytes. So it will take time, have patience. And do make sure make sure all of these are set to SD card so that automatically if any new content gets downloaded on the phone it will automatically go to the SD card so what we gotta do here is just wait 
until some of these applications move to the SD card and again you can see some of the applications just won't move but on Windows Phone majority of the application can be moved to the SD card so that's good let's see if any more of them are appearing So you can see already 551 megabytes have been freed on the internal memory and these applications are starting to pop up on the SD card. And now Skype has been moved and these are pretty big applications, 187 megabytes, wow. So the phone has just finished moving uh, the applications to the SD card and you can already see that uh, the internal memory has freed up significantly um, from about 1.2 gigabytes where we are um, now we are on to 2.17 gigabytes which is pretty good and the apps on the SD card are about uh, 2 gigabytes now these are all the applications I have moved and let me show you some of the applications which could not be moved to the SD card they are still on the phone memory about 500 megabytes uh, sorry about 438 uh, megabytes so to say it has 500 megabytes so WhatsApp is on phone, music is on phone and some of the basic applications but again majority of the applications have been moved to the SD card and since we have configured uh, uh, the content to go on the SD card whatever uh, pictures and music you receive on the uh, picture music videos you receive on WhatsApp are automatically going to go to the SD card so that's not an issue so thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more tech videos see you later